So today's video is about the differences between Floy's premium leather gloves and Floy's synthetic leather X-Line gloves. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notification bell for all my latest uploads. Today I have got a side to side comparison of Fly's premium leather gloves alongside their synthetic leather X-Line gloves and we're going to have a look at the differences between the two so you out there can decide which one if you was going to go fly which one would be for you. So let's start off with the leather gloves and there there's a beautiful leather on fly gloves bring that round and these are made in England and I'll just show you the white lace-up version as well again beautiful beautiful leather on these gloves bring that to one side okay so then you've got so they're the premium leather then you've got the synthetic leather here and these are made in China okay so these are cheaper uh, quite a bit cheaper actually but obviously they're not leather they are a very high grade synthetic leather and I'll bring that through so you can see the red one as well with that white logo again you can see that that synthetic leather is very soft and very leather like as well so let me just go on to let's start off with the super lace so let me just for a moment move those out the way and get these together let's go through the cost so the leather super lace they come in different prices from the different types of sizes 10 ounce 325 UK pounds, 12 ounce 325 UK pounds, 14 ounce 335 pounds, 16 ounce 345 pounds and 18 ounce 355 pounds. They also do do uh, 20 ounce at 355 pounds. These are 16 ounce so these are 300 and 45 pounds now uh, in England and Europe currently we pay VAT so if you were in America you don't pay VAT uh, so the gloves are cheaper for you they're like 20% cheaper than the costs that I've just said there and you'll see that on the website um, it will de default on the website to make sure that you pay less money because you're not paying that VAT so these are a good value great value actually glove in England but an even better value glove for all those countries that don't pay VAT then we come on to the X line now the X line they come in the 10 ounce the 12 ounce the 14 ounce the 16 ounce the 18 ounce and the 20 ounce but they are all 180 pound so that is one flat fee for all of the gloves at different sizes again if you are a country that doesn't pay VAT then you will get them cheaper by 20% fantastic bargain okay let's just move those to one side and let's go on to the velcro now the velcro are slightly more expensive these super loop in the leather and the, they come again in the 10 ounce the 12 ounce the 14 ounce the 16 ounce 18 ounce and the 20 ounce and let me run through those costs 355 UK pounds for 10 ounce 12 ounce 355 UK pounds 14 ounce 365 pounds 16 ounce 375 pounds these are 16 ounce uh, 18 ounce 385 English pounds and 20 ounce 385 and put that down and then we come on to the X line and the X line again available in all of those sizes and again a flat 180 pounds for the synthetic so there is a little bit of a difference between the cost of the two leather uh, the velcro being a little bit more expensive but when it comes to the x line both the velcro and the lace-up are exactly the same price at 180 english pounds okay let's go on to some colors so let's start off 
with the leather range. So on the leather range, they've brought out some new colours and I'll put those pictures on the screen. They've come out with a monogram and black. So there's no logo on the rear of the glove, but it is incorporated in that wrist area. There's an oxblood with gold logo. There's a white and gold um, and on there the thumb and also the logo are gold. There is a black and gold, again, the thumb and the logo are gold, and a black and red with a silver logo. So they've refreshed the colour ranges that they've done for the leather. They've also done the same for the synthetic leather. So they've now got red with a white logo, black with a white logo, and then the new colours they've got a green and gold, that's on the logo and the thumb, and a blue and gold with the logo and also the thumb being gold, and a white and silver, and the silver being on the logo and also on the thumb. So when you have a look at them, I think that the, the uh, new colours are a real refresh on the range at both leather and also on the synthetic. So there is some colours that they no longer do. So for example, the all blue has now been replaced by the blue with the gold. But I, ha I have to say that the new style that they've come out for the leather and for the synthetic, I do think it has upgraded the style of the range that Fly do. So in terms of style, I do like the look a little bit more of the leather version to the synthetic. Obviously the synthetic has got a, a little bit more of a plasticky type look where you have got that sort of beautiful leather. I still think that they are stunning gloves to look at. Then of course you have to factor in the difference in price between what you are getting uh, for your money. So here is the way in between the two gloves, the leather fly. Let's just place that on there and put the laces on top and that comes out at 16 ounce for a 16 ounce glove for lace. So it's just on, on the range, should be sort of 16 ounce plus the lace. So 16 ounce is fine for the left glove. Now for the right glove and the right glove, put the laces on top there as well. And that one comes out perfect at 16 and a quarter ounces. That's, that is perfect for a 16 ounce glove um, with lace. Let's go on to, next up to the scale is the synthetic leather X-Line and these are a 16 ounce glove and these come out at 15 and 3 quarters so they fall into sort of the amber section on my on my chart so they're a little light but just under and then we come to the left hand glove which is with the lace as well and again we've got 15 Let's just put that there. We've got 15 and 3 quarters again, just in that amber section, just under the 16 ounce. So now on to the weigh-in of the 16 ounce fly velcro. Let's put that on. And that comes out 15 and 3 quarters. So that's a little light. That's in the amber section for my velcro weight. Then let's the other glove. Again, let's go there. And that comes out at 16, which is right on the green for what you would expect for a Velcro glove. Normally it's 16 ounce on the label plus the Velcro. So you would perhaps expect it to be a little bit heavier than that, but still within my green range. And then let's come on to the X-Line Velcro. Again, let's put that on. That actually comes out at a 16 and a half, which is perfect for a 16 ounce glove with a Velcro. And the other one to come to the scales, 16, 17 ounces there. So again, right still on that green, going on to the amber for the left glove for the X-Line Velcro glove. So let's start with the padding. Okay, so the padding in the leather version, nice and soft, lovely feel of that leather there. And then let's show you the padding on the knuckle area of the synthetic X-Line. Okay, so this one is a, a little bit firmer, but only because I've used this white one more. Um, the same padding is in all of these gloves. So again, let's just show you this one. Um, again, just in there, and then this one as well. Again, this one feels a little firmer, but again, 
I have used the leather ones because I've had them longer, I have used them more. So then let's go on to the thumb. So the thumb there, it's a beautifully comfortable thumb. And then on the synthetic there, now the, the, on the synthetic it looks like it's a different shape. Now visually it looks like it's a different shape, but when you've got your thumb in there it doesn't feel like a different shape, which are I don't really understand, but that is the only way I can describe it to you. Again, you've got that leather thumb there, the leather attachment, and then you've got that thumb there. Again, you can see it's almost like it goes in a little bit, and it is weird how um, it doesn't feel different once your thumb is inside, although it does look like it's going in. Okay, let's go on to the lining. Now, all of these gloves have the same beautiful soft lining. So that is the leather version you can see there and it really does comes around your hand and makes your hand feel lovely when you put it inside these gloves. And then let's just go on to the synthetic again same material and the leather version bring that round there like so and then synthetic version uh, as well so, so one of the, the things about the comfort of these gloves is down to that lovely lining which is the same on both as I say let's come on to the wrist uh, the wrist of both the leather and the synthetic has got that signature stitching across the back where you can line up the laces and get a really nice wrist on these gloves. I like how uh, with the leather, the more you use it, it starts to indentate a little bit more and I think it looks really cool when it does that. On this one, a little bit stiffer, you don't get the same effect because of the synthetic leather, but still, you know, both create a really firm and sturdy wrist support. If I hold that, um, let's go first of all, let's hold that there. Okay, so they are a soft glove, as you can see, and let's, let's hold that one there. Again, pretty stiff, but again, they hold up. Now with the Velcro, you have got that big, long Velcro there. Okay, and that goes all the way around the front there. And I'll put that down. And again, on the synthetic, the same configuration in terms of the how long it is. Um, and I'll bring that round for you as well. And it's a full wrap around Velcro. Again, let me just hold these gloves up. I have had a couple of um, people say, so I'm holding that one. There's a little bit of a, a drop there. And then I hold this one and there's a little bit more of a drop there. And I think some people, when they get the x line are surprised at that little sort of drop. What I have to say is when you've got them on, um, you have still got a very secure wrist when it comes to that, the size of the Velcro at the back. It still does provide enough support for the wrist area. So if you just hold it up like that, it does, um, it doesn't give you the full picture until you try it on. Okay, so let's go now to the face of the glove, face of the glove for the leather, face of the glove for the synthetic. And there, and also while you're on that face of the glove, have a look at that stitching. Beautifully made, these gloves. And then we come on to, again, the Chinese made X-Line. Again, no stitches out of place. Very, very well made. And the quality control on these gloves is superb. Let's just move those to one side. Again, face of the glove for both. And again, I just prefer the look of the leather over the synthetic leather. But what you have to decide is, is it worth the money for you on your budget to shell out the extra amount of money for the leather over the synthetic leather, which as I've said, is very, very high quality. Let's go on to the um, durability. So durability, leather, these leather gloves, the more you use them, they'll just get more and more sort of comfortable. Um, obviously the leather, you'll, you can treat the leather with a leather sort of conditioner, and over time, I think these will really sort of age well. 
with the synthetic leather this is more of a case of it's just durable it is what it is now and it'll just continue to be as good uh, until say the padding has gone it's just a matter of there's less give in the sort of synthetic leather it's you know it's not as sort of I just think that there's a more natural feel to the leather um, over that synthetic leather so let's just go on to the uh, I'll just show you the these as well again and you can see sort of the the grain almost of the leather um, and then you can see it does look like it's got a grain in the synthetic leather they're that good and on to comfort now both all of these gloves are comfortable really comfortable um, let me just put I'll put both of them on and so we can see and one of the big things for me with fly is the comfort um, comfort in the finger finger palms you can open your hands no problem the finger pads really comfortable behind the finger nails and that first finger knuckle sort of there very very comfortable the fingers have got full control of that end of the glove there's no slippage you've got thumbs where I, I've found the thumbs have been excellent in terms of comfort for my hands and for my thumbs and again comfortable at the front on both and again those wrists really comfortable when you've got them tied up so for me one of the most comfortable gloves out there fly uh, let me just put these on as well very secure wrist you can pull there and and there as well very easy to put on and again they feel very very similar and comfortable in all the same places no areas for me of discomfort i will say that at the rear of the x line it does feel like it presses against the rear of your hand more but again the more that i use them the better that that will get okay let me just slide those out so performance wise again very very similar um i know that there's a bigger sort of difference in price but in performance i don't see that there is a massive difference in performance value for money the leather versions i think are worth every single penny and these the synthetic versions at 180 pounds i think that is unbelievable value for money so so in front of me i have got some fit to box award winning gloves we have got the fit to box heavyweight lace champion and also the pound for pound champion in my list of all gloves that's what the super lace is currently then we've got the super loop which is the heavyweight velcro champion okay so that's for gloves between 201 english pounds and 400 english pounds we have two champions here on the table which is the leather versions then we have the synthetic velcro champion the fit to box synthetic velcro champion and this in my opinion is the best synthetic glove out there and a lot of the reason for that is because it is very close to leather feel it's some uh, synthetics out there are a bit hard or a bit stiff or a bit rough and you're not getting that with this synthetic it's a very soft and supple synthetic leather and then we come on to these which again are the lace up um, champions for synthetic gloves so these are the fit to box synthetic leather lace up champion so in front four champions in front of me and what i have to say at this point is because the company is fly and because the company is british sometimes i do get leveled at me that because i'm british that i am favoring fly and that is not the case and anybody that watches the channel and sees all of the gloves like your your winning from japan your uh, dinados from italy your uh, south korean pri prize ring gloves um adidas obviously they're german uh clayton reyes has, has won things in the past uh, which is mexican i have got champions across the board from all countries so i do find it weird when I, it gets leveled at me that when i give an award to fly that i'm biased otherwise all of the awards what i would give to fly surely 
Well, hey, I can't figure it out myself. But anyway, as I say, the only reason why I gave Fly as champions in the different sections is because they are superb. They are absolutely superb. It has nothing to do with where they are made. In fact, these are made in China. So, you know, I'm even giving uh, props to China there. Um, but yeah, so I, I do seem to get that. I don't know why. Um, I think it's a, a good reaction to say, well, he's obviously going to be biased because he's British. Hopefully, viewers to the channel can see that I don't work like that. And anybody that has a pair of fly will know for certain that I am not biased in any way and that these are actually superb gloves. So I just wanted to point that out. Let's go on to the fit to box ratings cards. Okay, let's start off with the Velcro. We'll start off with the leather Velcro. And the leather Velcro, because of the new colours, I have actually put it a point up in style. The rest of the card is exactly the same because the glove hasn't changed at all. So it's difficult to change any of the other scores apart from the fact that I think that the new colours have brought something else to the style of the gloves. So style 95, comfort 98, durability 97, sparring 98, bag 95 so value for money 95 and that is at 375 pounds uh, for the velcro version of this glove and they come out at 96.3 which is slightly higher because of that improvement in style than the previous card and they also come out with a five star the best rating when it comes to the fit to box star rating let's now move on to the Velcro of the X-Line. So again, the only thing that has changed for these is the style. Those new colours have gone from your normal sort of red, black, blue and white and they've introduced the gold and the silver. And I do think that it does bring up the style by a level. Again, the rest of the gloves are exactly the same. So the scores on this card are the same as they were before, except for that style. So we've got style 95, um, we've got comfort 96, we've got durability 96, we've got sparring 96, bag 95, and value for money 97 at that 180 pounds price point. So a total of 95.8, so that's gone up slightly. They are still classed as a fit to box four star glove at, and I class those as outstanding. Okay, so the leather, they're a five star, the best, the, um, the synthetic leather X line, four stars, outstanding. Let's go on to the lace version for the leather. Okay, so this one, style gone up slightly, just by that one point, style 96, comfort 98, Durability 97, sparring 98, bag 96, and value for money at 345 English pounds at 95. So again, slightly up in that, that score for this glove in the new colours, 96.6, and still retains its five-star fit-to-box rating classified as the best. Again, let's go now on to the lace of the X-Line. Style 95, up one point because of the new colours. This, of course, is one of the original colours in the red and the white logo, but the new colours have really refreshed the range and levelled it up. So, Style 95, Comfort 96, Durability 96, Sparring 96, Bag 95, and Value for Money 97 at 180 English pounds. So, total score of 95.8. And that four-star fit-to-box rating of outstanding. So as you can see, the differences between the gloves as I've gone through, you can sort of make up your choice as to whether or not you want to have the premium leather line or whether or not the extra money for you doesn't warrant going that way and actually that these will be good enough. These have really impressed me in terms of their durability, which is always a concern when it comes to synthetic leather. They are super, super durable. Everything about the gloves is the same, except for leather, synthetic. These are more money, 
These are £180. Okay, but everything else, the padding, the, the fit, everything else is the same and hasn't changed. These gloves are identical to the gloves prior to the new colours coming in. So, for me, I do like the leather version more. If somebody gave me the choice, I would go for the leather in both the lace and the Velcro. I just love how the leather is and how it ages and, and just the feel of it and the texture and everything. I really do. That is my favourite out of the two. But the synthetic leather is so good. It's such a high standard that if you haven't got the money to shell out on the leather, then you are getting a tremendous bargain when it comes to the synthetic leather, which for most people, they wouldn't be able to tell without really inspecting that that was a synthetic leather. A lot of people would look at it and think, you know, it, it is leather. But as I say, leather ones for me, they're sort of the top dogs. These run it a close second. It's up to you now to, from the information that I've given you, to decide which one you would go for. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit to Box channel. And I shall speak to you soon.